I'm here at Tesla Cyberjaya and today let me give you a short tour of the brand new EV car plates here in Malaysia. So you can see over here these car plates are white with a green strip that represents electric vehicles. Some key features of this car plate is that it's got again a tamper proof strip. This looks like a similar strip you see in a Malaysian currency so it's harder to forge. There's an authentic seal sticker and all of the alphabets and numbers are unique. So look at this seven, the way it's designed, it's hard to draw an eight, or this six is hard to draw an eight because you can see that the, the leveling are different. And for each of these characters like this D, you can't just draw a line here to make an eight because of the way the D is written. So same thing for this M as well, you can't just turn it to a simple N. So this makes it more tamper proof because in the past there have been illegal plates or people modifying the plates for no good reason. So this allows more sanitization and safety and consistency. On top of that, for the front of this plate, you see this thing here, this is an RFID chip. So there's a built-in RFID in this car plate in the front and it's very smartly integrated with the whole plate, making the whole plate an antenna. So there's a very strong signal. You can see there's a front label here, there's a serial code and when you scan this QR code, it allows you to read the car plate and the plate serial number and in the future this could reveal more information like the car model like this Tesla Model 3 refreshed version it could even show you the year of manufacture and potentially even the owner of the car allowing a lot more safety and convenience here in the front you have a standard EU dimensions and configuration of the car plate at 52 cm long 11 cm high and there's also a version at the back of the plate as well. Come join me. You can see as we walk to the side that this is a brand new Model 3 waiting for delivery with the wrap inside and the steering wheel and the car seats. Down here, we have the rear version of the new EV car plates. In Malaysia, the official name for these car plates are called the JPJ E plates. And you can see over here for the rear version, it reads rear. The authentic strip is still here, but you, you won't have the same authentic lines in the back and there's no RFID in the rear plate because RFID reading in Malaysia is done at the front of the car. For contrast of how it looks like in the older cars, come join me further down where I'm charging my car at the Tesla Superchargers. You can see that this new Model Y also has the new EV car plate and as we go to the cars on the side, these are the original black car plates you see in Malaysia. These car plates, they can cost 30 to 70 ringgit to produce. And if you make a fancy version, it can go all the way up to 350 ringgit. And for these new EV car plates, they only cost 98 ringgit to purchase. And you just pay a small installation fee to get them installed. For new EVs, they all come with a new car plate. And for existing EV owners in Malaysia, you can start pre-ordering for this from 9 November this year. And once all EVs have this new car plate in the future, the government will also roll this car plate out to all cars, including hybrids and internal combustion engine cars. Let me know what you think down in the comments about these new car plates. I think they look great. They are the most advanced car plate in ASEAN, and I can't wait to see more of this technology across our region. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on EVs.